It's time to be creative in 3D and virtual reality, VR. It's time for Unity. In this video, we're going to continue down our path of the VR Beginner, the Escape Room from Unity Learn. In the previous video, we've completed getting started with VR Beginner, the Escape Room, and reviewing your VR controller. This video will focus on Explore the Prototype Room. So let's click Continue. In this tutorial, you'll have the opportunity to apply your understanding of the VR controls for the learning project as you explore an example prototype room VR environment. This is a very simple environment with two pre-configured interactable objects. Go ahead and press mark complete. Number two, before you begin, in this tutorial, you will use your VR Beginner Unity project and your VR hardware. Before you begin, number one, open up your Beginner Unity project. We have that right here. Number two, check that your hardware is ready. If you're using Oculus Link with the Oculus Quest, enable and connect this now through the Oculus app. Mark step as complete. Number three, open the prototype room scene. To open the, proto to open the prototype room scene, in the project window, go to Assets, VR Beginner, Scenes, Final. So over here, we're going to Assets, VR Beginner, Scenes, Final. Double click on the prototype scene. So we're gonna come here and double click on the prototype scene. I'm gonna go ahead and press Mark Complete. Prepare to test the prototype room. You can test VR experiences in development directly from Unity Editor with all supported hardware except the Oculus Quest without Oculus Link. Before you review the process for exploring the prototype room, check that you're ready to launch the VR experience. To launch the prototype room VR experience, in the Unity toolbar, press play to enter the play mode. Stand in the center of the designated play space. Put on the VR hardware if you launch the experience yourself. Note, once you've confirmed that play mode works on your VR hardware, select play on the Unity Editor toolbar again to exit. Changes you make while Unity Editor is in play mode can't be saved. So right now I've pressed play. I'm gonna press mark complete. We've talked about running your Oculus Quest as an Oculus Link. You can unfortunately only do that if you're running the, I'm currently on a Mac, so I'm going to have to create an Android build for my Oculus Quest. But if you want more information about Oculus Link, if you go to the Oculus page, you do a simple Google search, you can see here, these are the recommended PC settings. Again, it only works on Windows 10, and then you can just kind of look through the graphics cards you kind of need. If I click on setting up your Quest, you can see it is only for PC. Since I have a Mac, again, I'm going to have to run it as a build. So I'm building the app and actually deploying it on my Oculus Quest. I'm gonna close this. To create a test device using the Oculus Quest without Oculus Link, Oculus Link, again, you only can use that on a Windows. You need to create an Android build for the scene. In the top menu, go to File, Build Setting. Here, I'm gonna go to File, Build Setting. Select Add Open Scene. Now, because I'm on a Mac, again, I can't run this as a PC with Oculus Link because Oculus currently does not have Oculus Link for Mac. So I'm gonna to have to do Android. So I'm gonna select Android. And you can see here, I already have my Quest connected, so I can select that. And I'm gonna select Switch Platform. Selecting Switch Platform may take a second, but it has to completely switch how it's going to deploy this game or this prototype to our device. So before it was just going to PC, which is standard. Now it's say, well, no, we're going to switch to Android. So here it goes. It's going to import everything it needs to actually do that. We'll let that run in the background. In the run device field, make sure your Oculus Quest is selected. You can see I have done that right here. If it is not available, check that it is set up correctly. You can see mine is actually available and connected on my Mac. Select Build and Run. Note, when you build, select Build and Run. Your VR experience will automatically open and run on your Oculus Quest once it has been built. If the experience quits and you want to find it again, you can do so by navigating to library unknown sources inside your Oculus Quest headset. If you experience any problems with your Quest build or the app isn't functioning as expected, navigate to the unknown sources storage settings and delete any previous builds. Check that your Quest isn't running an Oculus Link connection and has allowed the computer to access Wi-Fi memory. So again, I'm on a Mac, so I can't run the Oculus software, so I won't have that issue. 
If the colors in your build appear darker than expected, switch to the texture compression to ETC default. So right now we're waiting for this to complete and then build and run. We'll highlight and I will be able to build this to my Oculus Quest that is connected to my Mac computer. Since I'm, we're waiting on this, I'm gonna go ahead and select mark step as complete. The next step we'll cover is exploring the prototype room in VR. Since I'm in my Oculus Quest, I'm going to record that and actually show you it, the video. Explore the prototype room. The prototype room is a simple space where you can create interactive experiences using the kit. In this step, you will use a teleport functionality to move within the room. Interact with a pre-configured object. Notice, if you want to view, play on your monitor rather than a VR headset, you will need to cover up your headset sensor located in the middle top section side of your Oculus head by using your hand, for example. If you are on a Vive user, ensure that you are in the center of your space for accuracy. Otherwise, by recentering your view using the Steam VR setting. To explore a prototype room, stand in the middle of your designated space and put on your VR headset. Number two, turn to your left and find the teleport bait next to the fuse box and box table. Number three, move and hold the directional pad input forward to display the teleporter beam. Move your controller unit to the teleporter beam touches the teleporter bait. Release the directional input, transport yourself to the teleport box. Move your hand to the fuse on the table and press the grip button and pick it up. Grab towards the fuse cabinet. The fuse slot will highlight when it is in when when it when it's when it is within range. Press the grip button. Place the fuse. Reach to the lever and hold the grip button to grab it. Pull your controller downward to move the level as you would in the real world. You'll see sparks coming from the fuse cap. Here's a video of the whole process. You see, you're gonna move to the teleporter place. It needs a fuse. You're gonna look around. I'm gonna grab the fuse with the grip button. I'm going to put it into the correct location. Now you see some sparks working and now I can actually grab this and give it power. That is what I'm going to show you in my Oculus Quest. So you can see Android has now been switched and I can actually select build and run. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I need to select the location. So I'm going to select, I'm going to type it here and I'm going to call it escape room prototype click save and now this now unity is going to build this project and once it's done it will deploy automatically and open up in my oculus quest headset if you see there's no devices are connected please make sure device let's click on okay we need to do refresh i want to unplug my oculus quest plug it back in so now that I've reconnected my cord, let's just refresh. And now you can see it shows up. I'm gonna go ahead and do build and run. Go ahead and try this again. And now you can see it's going to try to build this directly to my VR headset, my Oculus Quest. It may take some time to build, but when it is complete, it will open up on my Oculus Quest. So here you go. When you see the screen or the scene change, it's about Okay, so here I am, I have the menu open. Let me get out of the menu and let's play with this. Okay, there we go. All right, so here's my hands with my two controllers. Let's pick up some stuff. Uh, let's try to push this, no, not working. Uh, let's grab that. Oh, here's a toothbrush. I throw it. I a remote. I can throw that. Can't reach this. Let's recenter myself. Uh, let's try again. I'm gonna hold my Oculus button. Okay, that should be better. I can pick up the Unity cup. Throw that. Here's a drill. Uh, this is a teapot. Okay, a little laser pointer. Whoops. Toaster. A little flashlight. A little gun, a bubble gun. Yeah, we can shoot some bubbles. Okay, so we're interacting with like all these different things. Can't pick those. Let's see what else can I do. Uh, I can pick up this fan. Yeah.
Now let's teleport over here. And let's go over here to the little fuse box. Um, I gotta move a little bit closer. <clears throat> okay, now I can pick this up. It told us to put this in the box. Here we go. And I need to hold my grip button and pull this down. And you can see little sparks. I gotta lift it up and put it down. You can see the sparks again. Okay. Let's go back over here. What else? Uh, I'm gonna pick this up. Pull it back on the table. Step six, summary. In this tutorial, you have teleported and interacted with object in the prototype room environment. In the next tutorial, you'll create a teleportation basis and interactable objects in your own version of the prototype room. Let's mark this step as complete. Woohoo, you've completed this tutorial. Keep going in the VR beginner, the escape room project. Continue to next, continue to next step. Add a teleporter for your movement. In the next video, we will actually continue down our journey of Unity Learn, VR Beginner, the Escape Room.